Auto Line on the Road from CES 2022 is brought to you by Magna and by Ken Snow is the head of research and advanced engineering at the supplier Continental. We're going to be talking about some of the technology they were going to introduce at CES. They're one of the companies that had to drop out because of the COVID uh, crisis. Nonetheless, through the beauty of virtual worlds, we can talk to her today about what they were going to introduce there. And you're going to learn about it right here and right now. Tammy, thanks so much for joining me today. It's great to have you here. Yeah, thanks so much, John. I appreciate the opportunity. So you guys had some some uh, technologies you were going to introduce, the titles of which just intrigue me. Let's start with number one, the transparent vehicle. What the heck do you mean, the transparent vehicle? Yeah, so I mean, you know, uh, the, the danger of obstructed views uh, was really the driving force behind the rear view camera mandate in 2018. And, you know, with 70% of uh, the vehicles sold in the U.S. today being large vehicles, visibility is still a challenge. Uh, so we took that challenge and uh, Continental introduced uh, transparent vehicle technology uh, that utilizes uh, four uh, cameras around the vehicle. It captures those images, stitches them together through a proprietary algorithm and provides an unobstructed view around the vehicle, enhancing safety, of course, for everybody. So this is a bird's eye view as you're backing up? Exactly. Yep. Except instead of only seeing behind the vehicle, you now can see on the sides of the vehicle, in the front of the vehicle, all the way around. Now, that technology, the bird's eye view, has been out for a while, but it's very apparent that it's stitched together and it doesn't look natural. I'm hoping you're telling me you've taken that to a new level. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. And so with this algorithm, there's uh, much, many more features that we can implement um, than what you've seen today in current production. Uh -huh. OK, let's move to the next one on the list here. Switchable privacy display. OK, uh, you got my ears. What's this one about? Well, and, and I think, you know, if, as we've seen at CES over the years, there's been quite an expansion of in-vehicle entertainment options, uh, which is great. But this technology needs to be coupled with technology that prevents driver distraction. Um, and so for us, uh, it was really important for Continental to introduce their uh, switchable privacy display um, to allow vehicle passengers to uh, enjoy multimedia entertainment, but without distracting the driver. So the way that we um, the way that we do that, we use a combination of um, two backlight units that are unique, and those each have uh, dedicated illumination profiles. And then that enables uh, multiple viewing angles, so that you can set different privacy or public mode viewing. So I, I'm taking that to mean too that say the front seat passenger could be playing a video game or watching a video or whatever, and the driver doesn't see any of it. Exactly. Yep, that's the whole point. Yep, and so for us, this is, like I said, really important uh, to couple this with all of the new in-vehicle entertainment options. And I imagine, too, that could apply to backseat screens where you could watch your own video, play your own games, or nobody else is going to be able to see what you're doing. Exactly, yep. So uh, going back to the transparent vehicle uh, and the switchable privacy display, are these technologies ready to go or are these things that are out there in the future? No, so the so both of these technologies uh, would be something that we'd be targeting to have on the market within three years. Oh, okay. Very interesting. Okay, and now this one, and this title, you've got me, <laughs> Shy Tech. I'm not a shy person. What the heck is Shy Tech technology going to do for me? Well, again, we're seeing a trend in vehicle interiors of increasing sizes of displays. And um, while that uh, adds a lot of functions, it can be a quite overwhelming experience for the driver um, and, you know, providing distractions or longer off-road glance times. And so Continental has um, developed uh, what we're calling our Shytech display. And this allows us to um, really curate the information that is visible to the driver based on the driving situation. Um, so we can filter it according to uh, traffic, according to weather, road conditions, or other factors. I, I would imagine, uh, too, uh, it sounds to me, like, let me take a step back. You're trying to prevent information overload, depending on what the driver is doing. 
So it, is this tied into abrupt steering motions, abrupt acceleration, abrupt braking as well? Yeah, so it can be tried. It, it can be tied into any of those types of vehicle maneuvers. And, you know, from a visibility standpoint, um, there's still all of the um, uh, the control panel buttons, uh, switches and lights, but we've integrated them in a way so that we can hide things that are not relevant at the moment and really showcase things that are of most relevance for the situation that you're in at the moment. Gotcha. Okay. And now we get to the last one on the list here, uh, V2X. All right, we've heard the term V2X, you know, uh, vehicle communication to whatever, right? You've got V2X collective perception. Yeah. Okay, let's hear what this one's about, Tammy. Yeah, so, I mean, it really allows um, drivers and cars uh, to see the unseen, right? And it enhances uh, safety, but especially for vulnerable road users, right? Like occluded pedestrians that you, you really are out of your line of sight. Um, because you only have one perspective from your vehicle's particular location. However, if we bring together the sensor information from other vehicles and their perspective and from the infrastructure and its perspective, we then get this collective perspective. So Continental has designed a proprietary algorithm that allows us to fuse this data together and create this, this holistic perspective uh, really to enhance safety and as I said, it's really important for when I say vulnerable road users, I'm referring to bicyclists, pedestrians, motorcycles, scooters, um, because the World Health Organization uh, cited that 50 percent of of the uh, traffic fatalities worldwide involve uh, this category. So give us a, a real world example of what I as a driver might experience with this technology in my car. Yeah. So, um, so if you were, let's say, at an intersection, yeah, and there was a person walking behind a truck across the intersection from you, and you were planning to go through, you obviously can't see the person walking behind the truck, but the intersection can see it, the infrastructure that's there, because it has uh, the sensors on there that can then share that information with other vehicles. We can then use that to either warn drivers that are in connected vehicles by sending some sort of an alert. We can ultimately control their vehicle to apply braking or control steering so that they avoid a collision. Um, the other thing we can do is control the traffic lights, right? Uh, and any kind of traffic controls um, so that we can avoid that situation as well. It, it sounds to me almost, and this is my simple, you know, way of uh, looking at things. You know, we talked about the transparent vehicle where you're stitching all these camera views together. It sounds to me like this uh, V2X collective perception is doing the same thing, stitching things together, but on a grander scale. Correct. Exactly. On a grander scale. And, you know, it's all about really understanding uh, the driving environment um, and, and using as much uh, information and data as we can, and not just the sensors in the vehicle anymore, but really bringing in the infrastructure that's intelligent as well. Real good. Tammy Snow, thanks so much for showing us or telling, talking to us about the, the technology that Conti has developed. I can't wait to see these in car. Okay, so I got to ask you that too. Shy Tech and V2X Collective, when might those be ready? Uh, so for Shy Tech, uh, we're looking at uh, introduction within two years to the market. And for the collective perception message, this really, um, we need two things to happen. One, we need standards to be released, right? And then second, we need FCC bandwidth allocation. Um, and that you know these things vary by country. So we're anticipating that after those two things are, are firmed up, uh, within about a year, we would be able to release it. Oh, very exciting. Mm -hmm. Again, Tammy Snow, thanks so much for bringing us up to date with what Conti's doing. Yeah, thank you so much, John.